Hi everyone, this is Emmy. Crystal has asked for a demonstration on the basket we've stitched, so I'm going to go ahead and do that for you. And first, as a short explanation, um, the basket weave simply alternating back post double crochet, front, back, front, back, front, back. And each of these segments contains two rows high. So it's two rows of front, back, front, back. So let's get started. Okay, to make a basket weave stitch, you're going to be working on your first row. If you're just making a square, that's how I'm going to do a demonstration for you today. So I'm just making a chain, and then I'm going to work the basket weave stitch along the chain. So it doesn't matter, I'm just going to do a number of chain stitches here. In the fourth stitch from the hook, I'm just going to make one row of double crochet all the way across the row. So for double crochet, yarn over, insert the hook through the stitch, pick up the yarn and pull it through, pick up the yarn, pull it through two, pick up the yarn, pull it through two. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and make one row of double crochet so that I can get started doing the basket weave stitch. Okay, since I'm going to do sequences of three, I have 21 stitches here. Chain, two, and turn. And that first chain is always going to count as one of the three stitches. So I'm going to do a front post double crochet in these two stitches here. So front post, you find the double crochet, go from the front around the post, and complete a double crochet. So double crochet the same as you would normally. So yarn over go from the front behind the post of the double crochet. So I've got my three front post double crochet. Now I'm going to do three back post double crochet. So I'm going to enter from the back, go around the post of the double crochet, and complete a double crochet. And back post double crochet. And back post double crochet. Now I'm going to do three front post double crochet. So from the front, one, two, and three. Back post double crochet from the back. Complete the double crochet. One, Two, three. Okay, now from the front and now back. And the last three will be front. And always with the last stitch is around that turning chain. Okay, so you can see I have front, back, front, back, front. So I'm going to chain two, one, two, and I'm going to turn. I have to do the opposite now of what I was doing in the previous row. So I've got my chain two, and so this is back because you can see that this is front because it's sort of sticking out to the front, and this is the back because it looks like it has recessed toward the back. So I want to do the opposite of this, so now I'm going to do front. And I'm going to do two because that turning chain takes the place of the first one. Okay, so this is front posts. Now I'm going to do three back posts. So from the back and complete my double crochet. Back, complete the double crochet, and the double crochet. So across here, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to work front, back, front, back, front, front, back, front, back, and the last three are going to be front. So from the front, 
around the post of the double crochet. And always remember to work around that turning chain. Chain two, one, two. And in this row I'm going to do exactly the same as I did in the previous row because I'm doing two rows of each segment. So I can see here this is toward the front and this is toward the back. So I will be doing back post, front post, back post, front post. So I've got my first chain two. And I'm going to do two back posts because the chain two takes the place of the first stitch. So one, two. And now I'm going to do three front posts. One, two, and three. So you can see that these are now looking like they are, are uh, pronounced toward the front and these look like they've re recessed toward the back. So I'm going to go ahead across the row I'm going to make three back posts, three front, three back, three front, and three back. Okay, I have completed that row and you can see here I have my two rows of front, two rows of back, two rows of front, two rows of back. So if I have two rows of back here now when I turn around I want to make sure that I'm working the opposite of what I have here. So I'm going to chain two and turn and see if I can show you how to identify that again. Front and back and the front and the back and the front and the back and the front. Now I'm going to do the opposite. So here I want back, front, back, front. So the basket we stitch is simply alternating two rows of front post double crochet back post, front post, back post, front post, back post. So here's front, back, front, back, and it takes two rows to form one of these segments. So that's it. Thanks for watching, and please click like if you like this video. Bye for now.